Traverse has always been that modern family vehicle. We are not going to deviate from that strategy. We've listened to our customers, and the all-new Traverse is a mid-size SUV filled with possibilities and offers you and your family more of what you love. The 2024 Traverse is gonna open up all new opportunities for the Chevrolet brand itself. Bringing in a Z71, we're hoping that that allows us to connect with more of an off-road audience. The Traverse is still going to be there for the family, but with the Z71 package, we're offering a whole new dynamic to this portfolio and this brand. The all new 2024 Traverse will surprise people in the sense that it gets better horsepower, better torque, and it comes with the available Super Cruise driver assistance technology. Plus, we've added even more peace of mind with enhanced standard safety features. When it comes to performance, Traverse has you covered there too. Traverse continues to offer available trailering of up to 5,000 pounds. When you and your family are ready for an adventure, the all new 2024 Chevy Traverse is ready for you. We're here to talk about the all new 2024 Traverse Z71. I'm Brad Franz, I'm here today with Jeff McDonald, and we're gonna walk you through just a little bit about the Traverse Z71 and why we're so excited. So let's jump right into it. Jeff, first question, Traverse Z71, what makes this so capable and why are you so excited? Let's start with the compelling design. We're executing the next phase in Chevrolet's design strategy. And then when you underpin the exterior, you take a look at really where Z71 thrives. That exterior is underpinned with a, a raised lifted suspension. We couple that with hydraulic rebound control. You bring in the 18 inch all-terrain tires. It gives us a stance increase of you know, 30 mils. It gives that aggressive presence out on the road. You take a look at the fascia, our skid plate, the functional tow hooks, and we really balance that with the terrain mode. With all of that hardware capability, we wanted to bring the software to the vehicle. Yeah, it's exciting bringing this into the Traverse portfolio, first time we've had it. And you can't really think off-road without thinking power, powertrain. We're introducing an all-new engine with this vehicle, 2.5 liter turbo. What makes that take this Traverse C71 to the next level? Oh, a gr great question. And really, through the entire product development cycle, you know, expanding upon the, the architecture's bandwidth, we needed to couple that with the appropriate propulsion. And, and our team went over and beyond here. The 2.5 liter turbo is delivering 315 horsepower, 317 foot pound of torque. And it's exceeding all of our expectations. And it's a perfect fit for our architecture based on the efficient fundamentals and really driving technology into the propulsion system, shedding that mass is a, an absolute win for our product uh, and a perfect fit for the Traverse. Impressive improvements across the board. Now, something else I want to touch on, twin clutch. Hear a lot about it, know you're excited about it. What specifically about the twin clutch does it do for Traverse to make it more capable and ready to wear that Z71 badge? Oh, certainly. The, the suspension and all the hardware we've talked about validates a lot of the, the Z71 content, but really you need the twin clutch. That brings with it the ability to, to split traction between the left and right side and allows you a lot more traction with the road as, as we're going through some of those off-road adventures that we'll get into with the Z71. Yeah, that's great. So the 2.5 liter, we're super excited about it, but also Traverse Z71 tows up to 5,000 pounds. How does that 2.5 liter tackle that? in terms of the towing capability of the product? Well, certainly a very capable powertrain platform, but it brings with it a heavy-duty cooling package. You know, we build off the, the heritage of the engine, and that mass trade-off allows for that integration and that ability to do the 5,000 pounds. Uh, we also offer the trailer hitch wiring, and we also have a whole host of accessories that uh, obviously build into that trailering. Yeah, that's awesome. And when you think about our dealer partners, our customers, you know, what's one thing you think is really going to stick out in their mind as they start to get more familiar with the Traverse Z71? I really believe that the third generation, this global architecture that we're bringing to market, will bring with it enhanced capability. And I think our customers will value that. It's a package that brings the capability, but is priced right for, for the market and will deliver from a performance perspective. And you know what? You and I obviously have had a chance to drive the vehicle. I know I'm super excited about it. From an engineer's perspective, what's one thing that customers are gonna notice immediately? What's different about this Traverse C71 than maybe some of our Traverses in the past? 
As the customer interacts with the product, I think it would be a calm confidence in the vehicle's capability. They're going to enjoy the drive you know, in urban lifestyle as well as off the road or, or down the dirt road. I, I think that's really going to be the compelling um, attribute that they're going to take away from the vehicle. So Brad, you've done a lot of talking here today. I have. I have a couple questions for you. When will we start regular production and when can we expect the all new Chevrolet Traverse in our dealership? Yeah, we will be starting production later this year. Customers, dealers can expect to see that availability very early next year. Lots of great information. Really enjoyed the discussion today. We do have to wrap this up though, but can't let you get away without asking one more question. One word, Traverse Z71. What would it be for you? Oh, Brad, has to be capable. How about for you? I think aggressive. When I think about the new Traverse Z71, first thing I think about is just the aggressive nature of it. I think that's what people are really gonna see when they approach it for the first time.